everyone welcome back I'm Roxanne and today we are going to be doing a get ready with me and then following this I will be uploading uh, the starter box for um, boxy charm for the boxy locks that I got so today as promised I am going to be doing you had me at hello so those are the colors there I haven't decided what to do I also have a list of quite a few questions in front of me, so I'm going to try and do this as quick as possible. My daughter is sleeping, so um, I may have to stop at some point, and my doctor is supposed to call me, so I may have to stop. Okay, so I am going to start with my eye look and then go from there. So I'm going to try and use um, mostly the Tarte and the ColourPop items. Uh, my Kleenex, sorry. Um, there may be a few other products I'm going to use, like I'm going to use the Morphe um, eye primer, if I remember. Um, and yeah, all right. So I'm going to start with the back. Um, so the first question I have here is one product I could take on a desert island from Robin. And. It would probably be my Jeffree Star palette. I'm not gonna lie, that thing is solid. I could like cut up my food on it. <laughs> but I could create so many looks with it. And just with that, um, just simply using that. So that would be the one thing I probably would take with me. If I could take more items, I would probably take, you know, a foundation, um, most likely the It one or even the Becca one. Um, Okay, so I have a few questions from, as for me and my house, so I have them written separately, so I'll kind of go through them quickly. Um, my favorite color pop is actually the Disney Princess. My daughter has it. I haven't even used it yet. I'm going to have to get her to, uh, to bring it out and try and use it. Oh my gosh, I love how color, oh, how easy this is going on. Okay, so, and then she asked me about my birth story. So, um, as some of you know, I have four children, and I believe somebody asked me the ages. So, I'm going to put the ages in here. Um, my daughter will be 18 at the end of the month. My boys are 16 and 15, and my daughter is two and a half. Um, I actually was rushed to the hospital at 32 weeks with my daughter. Um, she was slightly small and missing some amniotic fluid. So they didn't know if her kidneys were failing or if I was leaking. And I mean, I was 20 at the time. So um, I was forced to stay in the hospital. They found out that actually I was clotting. So I had, um, my placenta was clotted. The umbilical cord had a, a blockage. So she wasn't getting all the nutrients, so. Um, I was confined to the floor for six weeks and then we had a c-section but I was put to sleep because I have um, what do you call it um, I have like a, it's like a, a, an anomaly in my brain uh, so they warned me that uh, with having another girl I could have this um, protein s deficiency um, so I had to find out what I was having for the boys. Uh, with the boys, it was pretty easy, pretty, pretty normal. My son, um, my youngest son, I had some back issues, nothing big. So my birth plan wasn't really set in place because I was only at 32 weeks. But that was definitely scary. And, uh, yeah, all sorts of craziness. Um, so I used this one first and then I used this one. Uh, behind it um, I haven't really even decided where to go from here with Avalon um, all of my kids were c-sections um, I can't have birth naturally because the um, pressure in my brain could um, erupt the extra blood vessels in my brain so with Avalon I was able to have an epidural because there had been 15 years between births and nothing had changed in my brain I was I was able to see one of my kids within minutes of them being born, within seconds of them being born. With my other three, I had to wait over an hour and I was in recovery. And then I had to go to my room before I could meet my kids. So it was pretty hard. Um, okay, so 
Um, the favorite ColourPop and why is because it is absolutely stunning. I have it not yet to use it, but those colors are beautiful. I bought it for my daughter. I bought her the whole collection for Christmas, so I'm going to have to go in there and kind of steal some stuff. Um, the e.l.f. palettes, they are available on Walmart, but it's also in Shoppers. And right now, e.l.f. is having like $15 and then they ship. It does take a little bit longer. Canada Post is super, super, super slow, slow right now. All right, so I am going to, I think I'm going to use this one for the outer color. It doesn't have a color, but, uh, okay, sorry, guys, this one here. Okay, so Samantha asked for my eyeshadow favorite. It's obviously my Jeffree Star. Right after that, my favorite that I own, it would probably be my, um, it's all good. And actually there is another one that I absolutely adore that I've used multiple times. It's this mood palette that I bought from Ipsy. And it's the first one that I got that I really like the greens on it. So this is another one. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. It wears really well. And it has highlighters in it as well. So yes, that is my, those are my top three. Um, okay, so. Ugh. So I'm going to do this eye up. Jesse, you're absolutely sweet. Thank you so much. It wasn't really a question, but I wanted to do a shout out to you. Thank you guys again for following me, for asking all these questions. I really, really enjoyed reading them. Um, Sean, Sean, Shan, Shan, probably B, was asking about my tattoos. So I actually have one on my ankle, which is two um, forget-me-nots. And they represent my grandparents who passed away. My mom's parents. Um, I have a pink quote on my foot um, that says it's written in the scars of our hearts. There was a guy that I was crazy about and he kept leaving me, kept leaving me, kept leaving me. So I realized that this was just not healthy. So anyway, the last time he left me, I actually the second time he left me. I got that and then he came back and he thought it was cute. But uh, anyway, I also have one here and um, it's a tulip, a maple leaf and um, a cornflower, which represents my mom's um, parents. They came from Germany and Holland. They met here, married, had 10 children, nine surviving. And they have shown me my family means a lot to me. Um, they have shown me that they can overcome diversity, they can overcome hardships and what it means to be a Canadian and to be proud of your roots and where you came from and so much more. I also have a tattoo right here that says, as long as there's someone in the sky to protect me, there's no one on earth that can break me. I had a really, really rough year. Um, when I found out about my CRPS in this arm and I had lost uh, a friend that I'd known for years and years and years and years I mean since I was a kid um, and I lost my great aunt which was my grandmother's sister and she was like my grandmother she was she took us in she she didn't have to and she did she she was a wonderful amazing woman and I miss her dearly. So I got that tattoo um, to remind myself, like, you know, there's other people that aren't here to keep going. My friend lost her child, who's two, and he had um, what they called sudden unknown child death. Um, they don't know why he died. They don't know anything. They did everything right, and, you yeah. know not pretty it was not fun I went to the funeral and I have to remind myself that I have to keep going for those people as well as I have a daisy tattoo here with the butterfly so the butterfly represents my friend um, he fought mental illness and I know what that's like with depression and anxiety 
so it reminds me I got to keep fighting I, I don't want to be where he is and the daisy is for my dog um, the two petals are kind of crossed here and that's how she used to sit she used to sit like this and Daisy's the reason why at my very lowest lowest that uh, I didn't give up and so I have those tattoos to remind me all of my tattoos are symbolic they mean a lot to me I also have one on my back with my kids names on it and a big big flowers I it's funny I'm not a flower person and all I have is flowers on me so yes um I was also asked where a doctor where you can get Dr. Pawpaw from I got it in um my look fantastic uh subscription so you can buy it I believe on Amazon the new one on Amazon and I believe you can buy it on the look fantastic website and of course I forgot to put on this um just Nina you asked me <laughs> which item I always forget and it's this the eyeshadow primer I put on the back I get doing whatever and I forget to put this on that is it so from now on I'm just gonna put it on because I like to do like that cut crease look but obviously I can't so this is kind of pretty but it's very um plain Jane so I'm gonna add to it um okay so I was asked by two different people uh WP girl and as uh, for me and my house why I started a YouTube um what made me start it and, and why sort of thing and um I saw that there wasn't as much Canadian content um and older content but mind you I also didn't go looking for it so now I see there's quite a few of us on here and I love that I do love that I also found that there was a lot of um there wasn't a lot of how Canadians felt about these subscription boxes um I just started off just to open them and show people the variants I didn't want to kind of do get to know me things um, I'm starting to realize that I do like it. I do like to know, you know, who I'm watching and why I'm watching them and supporting them. Um, I find it really good, especially for my anxiety. It gets me out of my head. There's positivity in doing this. I find that um, new ladies are very supportive, um, very welcoming. And honestly, I hate selling things that I don't want to use. I love giving them away. I think that's the most wonderful thing for me to do. And I love when I hear people say that they like what they got. I know it's not always going to be, and I'm sure I'm going to run into somebody saying, I didn't want this or something. But hey, that's part of life. So I always use this Becca. Well, not always, but lately. And I absolutely just love it. It just, oh. Makes my under eyes feel so good, so cute. Okay, so that's it so far. I don't mind it. I kind of wish I played more um, with it. So I'm going to use the Tarte Drench. I have a couple Tarte um, primers, but I'm going to use this one because I just got it. Okay, so Shan asked, Shan B asked if there was any risk missing my um, laser treatments, and and no, not really. There's there's the risk that it, it like, I mean, it is going to grow now that I haven't gone for two months, but it's not that bad. I have taken four or five years breaks and I go back and um, soon I will be putting on maintenance treatment. So I'll only be going like maybe twice a year, three times a year instead of once a month, which is nice because driving down to Toronto is no fun. I mean, it is if you can go shopping and whatnot, but uh that won't be for a while so I'll probably be on a four or five month break because I don't see elective procedures like mine being allowed in the hospitals until this is completely blown over and to me that's okay because I want the people that are sick and that need the hospital to be there and I don't want what they have so I will stay home I don't mind is there any other treatment options for the vascular anomaly that I have? No, unfortunately not. Um, there was tattooing at one point, but the skin didn't take. So I don't do that. Yesterday I was mentioning that I was missing um, a brush. Well, I have so many brushes that they all didn't fit in there. And I've got to wash this one again. Oh, that was bad on me. Look at that. Okay, so 
I'm gonna put that over there. I'm gonna use the brush that I used yesterday because I love that brush. I was like, oh, did you see how easy that went on? If I can find it. Oh, there it is. There we go. All right, so let's see. What am I looking forward to when this quarantine is over? Okay, so um, my daughter who is 18, had to be laid off of her job um, at, at the local cafe. So um, she was really kind of upset about it. It was one thing that she actually loved to do. Not only that, but she's supposed to be graduating and now we don't know what's happening with that. We don't know. She's supposed to be, turn or she, well, she's still turn 18, but uh, she can't have an 18th birthday. She has no no prom, no nothing. So I am really excited when this is over and done with to plan something for her. I mean, 18th is a pretty big birthday um, and whatnot. So I am really excited to, to do something with her, you know, maybe go down to the cafe. Um, I also, I'm looking forward to seeing what the community does to thank our essential workers right now, our hospital staff, our emergency staff, our police officers, our grocery workers, uh, the garbage men and women, um, home hardware. I mean, Terry and his wife are absolutely amazing people. Ron, who ru runs the food land, amazing. Jen and Nick at the coffee cafe. I had a poutine from there and he goes, do you want bacon on? I'm like, I'm never gonna say no to bacon. And let me tell you, my daughter and I were just scarfed that thing down. So those things, there's a Fresh Start Bakery. I mean, I live in a small town with 2,000 people. I am ready to go out and see my friends. Um, I have a bunch of girls that uh, we do once, well, we were doing once a month, um, getting together, having a couple drinks. Oh, let's face it, more than a couple drinks, but and just you know, letting us be girls, letting us be women, you know, not gossiping or anything like that, but just like commiserating on everyday needs of a woman. I, I know much more of you, a lot of you can understand what I mean by that. And it's nice to have that camaraderie. We, we get up, we get singing, we get dancing, we get lively. It's just crazy. It's just the best time ever no drama it's great I'm looking forward to that as well so Diane um, I want to say thank you so much you are an absolutely sweet person okay so. all right so I am going to use my color pop and I believe this is called like Woodstock no boots boots I don't like that okay so I love this pink it's really really so I'm going to see if that goes with this look. I mean, I'm not going out, so. So I asked how old I am. I am 38, if you can believe it or not. I had my first child at the age of 20. And I had Avalon at the age of 35. No, I got pregnant with her when I was 35. So shoot, I was 36. How does that work now? So it must have been 36. I don't know. I am 38 though. I know that one. <laughs> She's only two. Two and a half. Yeah, I would have been 36 when I had her. I had to have been. I was in 17. Because she'll be three this year. That's why I mixed up. I was 35 when I had her. I hope you guys got a good chuckle out of that. Somebody was saying that they were still laughing at my cat eye that I did. And oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't blame you at all. <laughs> because I still laugh when I think of that. That was horrendous. Oh my gosh. That was just so, so bad. Okay. So the next item I have in here. What is what is something I... Uh, what product? Makeup product that I can absolutely live with there. Honestly, I can't even... I don't even know. I would like to say that I would love just having eyeshadows. I love eyeshadows. No, broke. 
Okay, don't have it out that long, folks. It's not a pencil. Okay, so I am big on eyeshadows. I mean, even if I could just do eyeshadows all day, I think I would. But this is obviously not working out to my... Um, okay. So Susan also mentioned that she had um, a vascular tumor, and I am so sorry to hear about that. I am so happy you're still here. Thank you so much for your support and for letting us know about your medical issues. I can't imagine. Um, with my CRPS, I've had to become more left-handed with certain things, so I can kind of get a bit of what what you're going through. Um, I still have a hard time writing. Like, it's funny because I started writing, and I don't know if you can read that, but by the end, my writing gets really bad. I have a limit on how long I can write, so I have not learned how to write with my left because I still have my right, right? So, I mean, we do what we need to do in times of times like that. So good for you. I am proud of you. You are awesome. You are amazing. Good, good job recovering. I'm, I'm glad you made it through. So, um, I was asked by Andrea about dry nails. Um, I work with, uh, one, one eye turned out really well. One eye did not. So I work with, um, isopropyl uh, alcohol at work. So, um, I'm really bad. I try, for a while I wasn't wearing gloves all the time, so now I absolutely wear my gloves when I'm at work dealing with the alcohol. But um, I actually use this um, when my nails are really, really, really dry. Um, you just put, I put a dab I, and then I let it soak in. Um, and then you're supposed to like, right before you paint your nails, you're supposed to take a bit of um, nail polish remover and put it on and then put, I put like now a base, my paint, or my nail polish and then a top coat. Right now I'm using nails 45 cents, 45 seconds, 45 cents, 40, 40 seconds uh, nail polish dry and it dries it down and it's really nice. Um, it works really, really well. It also hardens the nail polish quite a bit and I really, really like that. Okay, so I am going to um, go in, let's see here actually, this one with this brown and I'm going to show you it after to just to kind of give this pink a little bit of a second you know like a, so it's not going to look that brown when I'm done with it I'm going to kind of okay so brush or sponge I love brushes I'm no good with the sponge. This one is the only sponge I really like, and that came in the Lexi Trio pack from BoxyCharm. And people were like, I don't want those brushes, and I'm like, I ah, neither do I, or those sponges. But I actually really like that little one. So, I mean, I am a brush fanatic. I probably will n never stop using them. I think I might just have to wheel my daughter all of my brushes because I've got like 50, 60 of them. Um, okay. To Connie, Hocus Pocus and the Goonies. The, I swear, we had some of the best movies back in the 80s and the 90s, right? Like, I remember Family, or TGIF, and oh gosh, it was so much fun being a kid back then. I'm not saying it isn't now, I'm just saying it was a lot of fun back then. Okay, right, so I am going to take some of this gold and put that underneath as well. Kind of like layering it and giving it a bit of a different color. Um, am I going to have any more children asked by me, as for me in my house? Um, no, I have four. I would love to have more, but uh, that last pregnancy, I was sick. I was sick. Um... If I was younger, maybe, maybe I would, but um, the wonderful man I'm with can, can barely handle me and one kid. So, I mean, it would really be up to him as well. But we both agreed that one and we were done. Um, so, my three are from a, a different relationship. And then um, by Kelly, when I was pregnant with my youngest, I was very fearful. I was very, uh, how am I going to do this? Am I going to do this? My 
uh, oldest son was like, all you do is yell at us. I'm like, well, if you listened to me the first five times, I wouldn't be yelling at you. I love that kid, but some days. Okay, so there's the final eye look. Um, the top part of it doesn't really pop out, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to use the Tarte Big Ego. Um, I think this palette would be better with the golds. I think I'm going to have to try it again with the golds. I, I really do. Um, and I believe that is all the... Oh, also, um, Susan said she worked at, she works at Home Hardware. I used to work at Home Hardware. I loved it. I loved it. I was a cashier. I wasn't getting full time, so that's why I left to go to the factory that I'm at now. But I miss the people I work with. They were absolutely amazing people. The store is amazing. They treated their customers with so much respect and they're like part of the community. I mean, the home hardware here, um, the owner is Terry, I can't remember his wife's name, but uh, they do so much for the town. So I live in the town that was populated because of trains, right, back in the day. So they went and did this huge train thing and it was oh, so beautiful, just like, who, who thinks of this stuff? I mean, they're just amazing people. And shoppers, or uh, home hardware is still one of my favorite places to shop. You pay a little bit more, but you get so much better service. And now is more important than ever to go and buy Canadian. Support Canadian businesses, support your local business, especially when you're in a small town. If you can, I know it can be expensive and I get that. So I love these Tarte. This palette is like one of my favorite cheek palettes. And what I do is I just kind of go like this. Cause it kind of gives you a bit of, you know, it kind of gives you some color. All right, so those are all the questions. I got through them all in half an hour, yay. And I'm almost done this look. Okay, so I'm gonna do I had it. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. A lip liner. Oh, I got some nice little pimples. Okay. So. I do have a giveaway for today. I haven't even thought about what. So today's giveaway will be the Murad Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisturize for Eyes. I got this in boxy trunk. This was actually going to go into my collection, but let's face it, I have so much stuff that I don't really need it. So, no, got my light to go. So I have Ultra Glossy Lip in Aquarius from Glossy. I am an Aquarius, so I really like this lip gloss. Okay, so in order to win this, I think I'm just going to get you guys, ladies, hmm, I really like this lip color, very simple, and then I have to use e.l.f. because I really don't have anything else, so. okay. Uh, leave below your favorite movie from your childhood. Mine was The Goonies and the Hocus Pocus. Um, I would love to hear what everyone's movies were or are. I also am a huge fan of Deer's, in terms of endearment. Um, what is the other one? Ah, uh, Steel Magnolias. And that one I love. I love Dolly Parton in that one. Uh. I do not like whiny crying movies, but those two are my favorite. Um, I also love scream movies. Okay. okay, guys, that is the final look. So thank you guys so much. This is half an hour long. Yes. If you guys can like, share, 
and make sure you're subscribed. Leave a comment below with your favorite movie from your childhood and you will be entered in to win the mirror ad. I put it away. Also, this is the look using a lot of ColourPop and Tarte items. Have a great day, everyone.